We're just going to have a little look at one of the assessment systems in Purple Mash. When you're setting a to do in Purple Mash, you'll often go to the resource, choose what you want to set, and click on Set to Do. You enter a title and description and any other details that you want to add in. In the second window, you can choose to set objectives. These are objectives from the National Curriculum Frameworks. I'm going to choose a Year 1 computing objective for this particular to do. We'll add, actually, we'll add a couple of computer science objectives. Once those objectives have been set, you can set the to do for your class or for a group. And that to do will then appear in the to do's area for that class. So the pupil can go up to the to do's area and they'll see the to do, they click on start and they're taken to the resource. When children have finished their to do, they can save their work or they can exit and choose to save and exit. They can then continue if they wish to. Obviously, this one's finished, so the child might hand it in and leave a note for their teacher here. The note can be written with emojis or a verbal note. I'm going to click on OK. That will move the to do from the to do's tab to the done tab. Back in as the teacher, I can go to the to do's area at the top and against the to do that I've just set, I can click on view folder. This will take me to the folder of the children's work. I can use the mark button to mark that work. I can see the work on the left hand side. I can interact with it if I'd like to. And over on the right hand side, I can add comments to send back to the children, any rewards that will come up as a trophy at the top of Purple Mash, and then judgments. I've got two options for judgments here. And if I click on these, I'll see the objectives that I set for that to do. And I can make a judgment for this child for this work against those objectives. If I don't use these judgment options, I can personalise and set how I want this to appear. I'm going to just save that one and save that one. OK, these changes are automatically saved. I could click on next if I have another child's work. In this case, I don't. So I'm just going to come out of it. Now, all the work you do through to do's is saved into a to do's folder in your class folder within the work area. So that view folder button in the to do's area is just a hyperlink to the work area where you can find all the work for any to-dos children have done in the to-dos area here. You've got your current to-dos here and any past closed to-dos here. So if I was to close that work or close that to-do by clicking on close here and click on OK, that will remove the to-do from my to-dos area, but I'll still be able to find it in my closed to-dos. OK, there it is there. So for evidence, I know all the work the children have done through to-dos will be within my class folder in to do's in close to do's. Also, if I go into the pupils own folders, Jessica will have a copy of all the work she's done through a to do. So there's the one we've just done here in her area. Just going to close Jessica's to do's now and the folders here. In terms of the judgments, if I go up to the data dashboard here and I open up judgments on the left hand side, I can explore and find the judgments I set. I've gone to year one computing computer science here. And I'll see here any judgments that I've made for different objectives next to the children's names. I can show this for any classes I'm attached to or particular classes. I can export this data to Excel. If I want to look at a particular objective in more detail, I can click on the objective there. I can see that Jessica has been judged as expected for this objective on five files in Purple Mash. If I click on this, it will bring up the files that have been used to make those judgments. So I can very clearly evidence the judgments I've made against the objectives and I can also export the data to Excel. If you want to add objectives and set judgments against work that hasn't been set as a to do or you'd like to add it in retrospect, then you can explore work in Purple Mash and do just that. I can select a piece of work and either click in the judgments column here to tag objectives and make the judgments or I can click on mark and within the judgments area, I can click through and add the objectives and judgments in here. Alternatively to using the built in system with to do's and adding judgments and, and objectives, teachers can use assessment options in the teachers area. Within the computing scheme of work, there's a document called assessment tools and progression. In here, you'll find assessment tools for PC and Mac, and you'll find an assessment tool that you can download that will open up as an Excel document. If we take a look at that Excel document, we're going to enable editing and enable content, and we can click on a year group. As a teacher, you can pop in the children's names across the top. You've got the national curriculum objectives on the left hand side, the relevant purple mash units. You can click for guidance as to what emerging, expected and exceeding might look like in terms of outcomes here. And then you can click in these cells beneath the children's names to make a judgment of emerging, expected or exceeding. If I scroll down here, you can see percentages. 
uh, for a child. And if you scroll to the right, you can see percentages for particular objectives. If I go back to the home page of the spreadsheet, more guidance on how to use this can be found in the video within the spreadsheet itself. If you're teaching units from the Purple Mash scheme of work and you scroll to the bottom of the unit plans, you'll see assessment guidance for each unit. Here we go. Assessment guidance for emerging, expected and exceeding. So you've got a variety of different options for assessment in Purple Mash. In the teachers area in the computing scheme of work, you've got the Excel documents in the assessment tools and progression area. You've got guidance on each unit in the scheme of work. As you're setting to do's, you can tag objectives, make judgments against them when you're marking and explore these judgments in the data dashboard. Using display boards can be a great way to celebrate examples of good work. Within the sharing button at the top there, you'll find display boards that have been created in here. Display boards are like online notice boards. You can click through and interact with programs children have made, or you can click on a piece of work to view it. If you'd like to create a display board, then you go to sharing and within the display boards area, you click on the cog wheel to the right. There are instructions on how to create the display boards, video support to the top right, and you can explore and edit any boards you've already made from the left hand side here. If you need any further support, click on the teachers button and the professional development tab and then find mass chats to book a free mass chat with one of our experienced consultants. We'll be able to talk through your CPD needs and help you with any assessment requirements you have as a school.